Hello, this is Keith Hall, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how we could create this uh, Rubik's Cube um, photo frame in Photoshop. So basically, I have a transparent image of a Rubik's Cube, and I have one, two, and three other images that I'm going to place on each side of this Rubik's Cube. And then plus, I have um, uh a layer underneath that and I you could color it anything that you want so let's get started let's go over to this um, canvas here and right now I again I have a transparent image of a Rubik's cube and then I just created a layer um, underneath that and made it the color that I want so our first step is to select the Rubik's cube layer or image and we're going to use the magic wand tool so we're going to select that now there are multiple ways that you could select this what we have to do is individually or make a selection of each one of these little panels on each side of the main panel of this rubik's cube so if we make use this icon the first icon which is make a new selection it's gonna once we click on an area it's gonna make that selection but if we leave it on this and go over to the next panel and click on it it doesn't keep this selection so there are two ways that we could do this if we do keep it on this new selection icon up here in the options bar we have to use the shift key and click after we make um, the initial selection like this. That's one way to do it. The other way is to initially uh, add to a selection icon. So if we click that and then uh, click on uh, the layer, it will add to your selections that you already have so that's an easier way to do that okay and also too when you doing this increase your tolerance because the lower the tolerance that means it's gonna select a, a smaller area of where you're clicking and you want it to be up higher so it makes a larger selection so anyways, once we have that, you want to press Control J to create a new layer with that selection. As you can see, if I turn this off, it made it made that selection for us on a new layer. So I'm going to turn this back on. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to do the same thing for each one of these sides, for the red side and the yellow side. But let's first rename this uh, layer green. Let's go back to the Rubik's Cube's uh, layer. And you still keep the magic wand and keep it on the add selection icon. So click on there. Click each individual panel. Okay, once we do that, let's press Control J again to create the new layer with that selection. Let's rename this red. Let's do it now for the yellow side. Oop, Control Z. Let's make sure we have the Rubik's Cube layer selected. Now let's. Uh, click on each yellow panel control J and let's rename that to yellow now our next step is to add our images that will go into each one of these so I already have my images open so I'm just gonna go and select the move tool 
click and drag it onto your canvas here. Okay, let's bring this image up to the top layer. And now let's use the transform tool, control T on a PC or Compan T on a Mac. Alt, shift, alt, and click on a PC to resize it. Let's use the rotate area. Let's uh, turn down the opacity so we can see through this. And now once you're in free transform mode, just hold down the control key on a PC as you click each corner and drag it to each corner of this Rubik's Cube. Okay, press enter to apply those changes. Let's turn the opacity back up. Now what we want to do is we want to create a clipping mask between this image and the top panel of this Rubik's Cube. So let's select the image. It's on top of the green panel. And you could either right click on the layer and select create clipping mask or a shortcut key would be Control alt g to create that clipping mask. Okay, now our next step is to add the images for this side and this side. So I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now our next step is to individually transform these images to the placement that we want it on here. So in this particular case, I want to um move this frog image so i'm going to select that layer control t and then let's see if we could readjust that so his face is showing through fully on one of the individual panels just make fine adjustments Okay, that's that one. Let's do the squirrel next. Which is this one. Okay, we did that. Now I'm going to leave this as is on this side. So our next step is to go to the Rubik's Cube layer. We want to add a color overlay to it. So we double click on that layer to bring up the layer style dialog box. Select uh, cover overlay. And I've already ha have it set to black, which is what I want. So I'm going to click OK. And now you're set. So the, basically that's how you could add images to a Rubik's Cube um, uh, image. Now let's create some other effects. So I'm going to uh, create like a, a light source. So I'm going to select the bottom layer, which is this gray layer, add a new layer above that. And I'm going to use the brush tool to create this light source. Now I already have the size that I want. The uh, foreground color should be white. Let's hit D as in David to do that. And let's uh, select the foreground color to be white. And as I click on this, you can see there's a white area forming behind this cube. If I click it again, it creates a bigger area. 
so that it creates like a light source behind that. Now let's add an effect to the Rubik's Cube by double clicking on that layer, adding a drop shadow. And I'm going to accept what my last settings were, but you can play around with the drop shadow to make the effect that you want. Click OK. And there you have it. And that's how you could create a Rubik's Cube photo frame in Photoshop. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you today to get your creative process going and gave you some new ideas for future projects. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And then click on the bell notification so you always get updated when I upload a new video. And of course, always please like, share, and comment. Thanks again for stopping by, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.